Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Today I'm walking through the process of creating a layout that I have over on the Scrapbook Expo blog. And I'll make sure to put a link to the actual blog post for you, but I just wanted to walk you through how this how this layout came together. So today I am using two photos um, that I've printed in black and white of my husband and I and then I'm working through working with mostly items from the Take Me Away collection by Pink Paisley and Paige Evans. So I'm using a lot of thickers. I think these are wild they're called Wild Heart but they go with the the Take Me Away collection and I think they're gorgeous. I've already used one of the pieces actually I have it out of this package. I did get two packages of these because I think that they're so pretty. Um, but I'll be using a lot of stickers out of there. Here oh. are the pattern papers that I've chosen to work with. And this is kind of, well, it's not kind of. This is really an unusual color palette for me. And I don't even really know. Um, I guess I do know how I kind of got onto this color palette was with this piece of pattern paper. Um, I found this piece of pattern paper and I loved it. Um, this is just kind of fussy cut from a full 12 by 12 sheet, but it had kind of this wood grain that had really soft pastel colors and mixed in with some wood grain. So I fussy cut a little bit of that out of the pattern paper. And then from there I chose patterns that went well with it. Um, this is a little light on pattern paper compared to what I usually do. Um, and a very different color palette, like I said. Purple is not something that I usually ever use, um, but it, I think it works really well with, with this color palette, and I'm excited to see how this um, project will come together. So, I've got this um, kind of lavender heart tone on tone print to use as my background. I've got a piece of gray cardstock that I have pre-cut to be just slightly larger than this um, pastel ledger pattern paper that's also from the Take Me Away collection. It's got this really fun, I think it's a hexagon shape on the back. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and adhere. Adhere this to the gray cardstock. I'm using a Thermoweb uh, Tape Runner XL today, is the adhesive that I'm using. Um, I love their tape runners. They're... It's a really strong adhesive, um, and I really like the dispenser. The dispenser, I've never had a problem with it getting clogged or stuck. Um, and it's got this really nice flap that goes across so that when I do throw it in my bag to create on the go that I'm not getting all sorts of bits and pieces stuck to it. So now that I've got those two adhered together, I'm just going to adhere them to my background. And I'm just using the the hearts along the back as a guide as far as placement goes um, to line things up. Not it's not going to be perfectly straight, but I'm not. I'm never worried about something being perfect in my in my scrapbook or really anything in my crafting. Um, so I'm going to put this along here in the middle somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where, but I do want it to go in here. Um, really quick, just to add kind of some, a little bit of an extra border. I'm gonna go ahead and just outline this outside edge of this ledger pattern paper. I am using a black um, precision pen. This one happens to be a Project Life pen. Um, it is the 03 in the thickness. I really like the medium. It's kind of a medium. It's not too thick. 
not too thin. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to adhere this just yet because I want to um, be sure of the placement before I adhere it. So I have this doily and um, I cut this from the same gray cardstock that I used um, for this border here. And I used a a doily die from Waffle Flower Craft and I'll make sure to um, make sure that there's a link in the in the notes of this video so that you can find it because it's one of my favorite favorite dies I use it all of the time one little note about this die though it is very delicate and intricate and you will want a precision um, cutting plate cutting mat to go um, with it so that's just a little note on that and this one isn't perfect but it's okay because I'm going to kind of tuck it right along here so I pre-printed my journaling just on white white printer paper nothing fancy um, and I sometimes I handwrite my journaling sometimes I print it um, sometimes it's just a little faster especially if I'm doing a video tutorial like this um, for me just to print it ahead of time so this layout is about um, my husband and I obviously we just celebrated our 16th anniversary and these are photos that um, we had our kiddos take um, just on the front steps of our house on our anniversary. Sorry, I just noticed that I had the hearts going the wrong direction. So we're just gonna switch it to make sure that those hearts are facing the right direction. Okay, so I'm thinking something like this with the title here at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this pattern paper, but I'm only going to adhere it here in the middle and that's because I'm going to be tucking things under it on the top and the bottom. So and once again I'm just using the pattern on the background to line it up. I am gonna just, these doilies are really hard to adhere because they're so delicate so I am just going to tuck it into the adhesive that I already have placed down and I'll put a little more adhesive on that in just a minute. I'm going to take my journaling and just kind of tuck it right under there so that none of the words are covered up but so that it is um, connected to the cluster of embellishment that I'm creating over here. And my photos are going to go something like this. And now I think I am going to adhere my photos, but I'm just going to adhere them in the middle um, because there are a couple of things that I do. I want to be able to tuck things under. So quite often, even if I'm not sure how things are going to go, I do only put, put adhesive in the middle. Okay. Sometimes when I want to make sure that things are adhered, but I don't want to get my get fingerprints all over my photos, I will turn them over and press it down like that. Just, just something that I do, just a fun little tip. So here's the title, and I know that my title isn't going to really pop off the page, um, obviously because I'm putting white on white, but the I'm not too concerned about the title. I want um, the focus to be on the photos on this layout um, and the title to kind of be, be secondary. So I'm just going to carefully set that there. And the title of this layout is You and Me. And these are thickers that I, that also go with the, um, with the Take Me Away collection. 
and they're really pretty um, pearl pearl white all right I like that um, I have just a few um, little embellishments I have these chipboard flowers that are from the from this this thicker set um, since I do happen to have two sets of these I do have two of the same flower uh, I think I'm gonna trim off on this because I don't want that bulk under my photo so I'm just gonna I want it to look kind of like it's under my photo but I don't I don't really want it under my photo does that make sense there we go okay then I have this um, little perfect thicker with a little bit of gold around the edge I think that would be look nice right there be perfect to go right there I guess and then I'm just gonna carefully pull up the edges of this whoops I don't want that to stick quite yet there we go and then the main focus of embellishment here I have in my little container are a whole bunch of these um, hearts that I cut off of the thicker sheet where I got my title thickers um, and I want them to kind of cascade across the page from the top left to the bottom right so I'm gonna add some of these hearts just in kind of random random places across the t clear across my layout and I'm just gonna just taking off the backing there I'm trying to mix up the size of them a little bit so that I don't have like two big hearts right next to each other and not a lot of you know small ones right in a cluster too And usually I um, I try to make sure that there are an odd number um, in one cluster so like I've got five up here um, I'm gonna make sure that there's five down here as well okay so this layout is pretty much finished I just wanted to give it one one last finishing touch I'm just going to use a paper towel here. Usually I have a scrap piece of paper that I use for this, but I don't have one right by my desk. And I'm just going to take a little bit of silver um, spray ink. I'm going to make sure that I have it, that I shake it really well so that all of the color is is shaken up and there's a little bit of a shimmer to this one just a little bit not much and I'm just gonna put a few drops of this around these clusters of hearts and as you can see it goes on pretty dark but it dries quickly and it dries a really pretty silver Okay. Let me just clean up the excess there and with that I think we'll call this one finished so thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel today I really appreciate it um, if you like this video of course give me the thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribing to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos so thanks for stopping by I'll see you again soon